oh my gosh where is she um i'm not seeing her anywhere um let's look over here <gasps> What's up, Mama Llamas? Welcome back to another episode of Antonia's Legacy. And let me just say right now, tonight is the night. Tonight is the night that Antonia will finally figure out um, if she will ever uh, meet anyone biologically related to her. So she came home from last night um, after that whole freaking mess with Tag. I hate this guy. Like, <laughs> I literally freaking despise this guy. I mean, first of all, um, he laid his hands on her last night. And he doesn't even know Antonia, right? They've only been dating for like two days, but he feels like he can control her in this really like, I don't know, like narcissistic, like psychopathic way. It's really scary. <laughs> and I'm kind of worried about Antonia's safety, to be honest. Um, but she came home from last night and she she was really drunk. She was super drunk. Um, but she woke up this morning and she was like hungover as heck. So she called out of work um, and just decided to spend the day to herself. And she actually, okay, well, I'm not going to go into what she did on her time off right now. Um, but like I said tonight, is the night so Antonia got a package at around four o'clock p.m. this afternoon where am I okay um but she saw uh this package come out <laughs> right here and she brought it in and it looks like it is her um DNA records and she did not want to be alone for this you know memory because this is crazy like this is a, a mind-blowing experience for her you know no matter what she finds she might um she might might not find a lot of people she might find a lot of people she might find her parents like it just depends on if any of her family members are in kind of like the dna system so for example if they have taken like a dna test through this company or like probably like criminal records too like you get dna dna tested and all that stuff so we will see but she didn't want to do this alone so keep in mind uh, Mariella and her parents are not aware that she is doing this uh, like I said because she doesn't want to hurt their feelings um, but of course her friends know um, so she did invite Reagan over because she's really close with Reagan and um, she's been kind of confiding um, her troubles with Reagan like she is really nervous about this you know I would be too you know what I'm saying um, but Reagan is just amazing she came over right away um, and she's just super supportive Supportive. So I think Antonia is really grateful for her because her heart is beaten out of her goddamn chest. Um, I feel so bad for her, but so happy at the same time. Um, so we can kind of move this around a little bit. I'm not sure. Yeah, we can't put it on the table. We're just going to have to leave the package on the ground, which is totally fine. Um, but Antonia and Reagan are going to go here together. <sighs> and they're gonna kind of take a look. <laughs> well, I think Reagan's gonna watch TV, but it's fine. Um, but let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. So you guys, the deed has been done. Antonia found somebody bloodline related to her where her blood and her DNA runs, not exactly, but runs through somebody else's, which, you know, she doesn't need that um, to have family. So she loves her sister, Mariella, and her parents, of course, even if they're not blood related. Um, but this is just insane. And Antonia's feeling a bunch of different emotions right now. Um, here is her 
her uh, private journal that she was sent to from the DNA company. So yeah, Kennedy O'Neill, that's all she saw. The picture, that's literally all she saw. She has no idea um, who this girl is besides the fact that it is um, her third cousin. And to be honest, she doesn't really know what that necessarily means, but Reagan was definitely a huge help in this. And we're actually gonna give her the apartment key in case she wants to stop by um, anytime soon. But let's go ahead and give her another hug because we are eternally grateful um, for her support. Okay, never mind. <laughs> this was great, but I think it's time for me to go home. See you later. All right, Reagan. Well, you helped a lot. She wants to eat pizza right now, but actually I want her to go over to her computer and go to the web and then browse the web. So basically she's just gonna go on her laptop um, and kind of go to the findings that she saw in her journal. So she got a link and everything to go to the website um, and kind of find out all of Kennedy's contacts. So maybe her phone number or her email address, something that will allow Antonia to finally meet up with her and not only form a relationship with somebody who's blood related to her, but maybe this can be an outlet um, to finding out maybe her parents, maybe Kennedy um, will help us out in that aspect. Now, we never know um, because, you know, this is our third cousin, so Kennedy might not know anything <laughs> about Anthony's parents, um, but it is never too late to try. Um, but I did want to mention while she was here working from home, she did actually publish a little short story. She wrote a short story um, and it is called... I think it's not here because we shipped it off but I think it's called like success in community college or something I don't remember but it's basically Antonia basically wrote about how you don't need to spend thousands of dollars um at like a university when you can just go to college and get pretty much the same thing same jobs whatever um so she really felt like she wanted to write about that because she didn't waste all that money on university not that university is a waste um but she personally feels like you know it's not necessary but she did publish it so we will be getting royalties pretty much every day um, but I do want her to one day write a book about her <laughs> her whole life experience um, from where the moment she was born to her finding out who this Kennedy O'Neill is and then later <laughs> and beyond whatever happens, which a lot of things will happen. I promise you, I told you this Let's Play is going to be drama freaking filled. Um, so things will definitely happen. And I'm not sure if we'll find out who her parents are. I mean, you know, we will see. I'm hoping. Um, but life isn't always always perfect you know what I mean but she is angry why is she angry noisy neighbors okay <laughs> our neighbors are freaking noisy oh my gosh and they make a love too oh my gosh we need to stop okay Antonia is not feeling it right now um but I did want to let you know that she did text Arthur about this too um because they are getting kind of close oh she freaking glitch <laughs> because um they are getting kind of close, especially um, in their book club and stuff. They're having a good time. And I think we're going to do another book club maybe tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. Um, I'm not quite sure, but she did tell Arthur about it and Arthur was super supportive. Um, she didn't go into like a whole bunch of detail about like where she comes from and what happened to her as a baby. She just basically told him like, hey, I'm adopted and I'm trying to find my birth parents or um, any like blood related siblings or baby cousins and whatnot and he was like yo like I support you that is, that is insane um and actually she was gonna invite him tonight too with Reagan but um he had work tonight which is totally fine but how is she feeling hung over she's still hung over from last night holy crap um, I guess nobody answered the door for us, which is fine, I guess. Um, but I'm not sure why she's still hung over. That's, that's kind of crazy. It's been all day. Um, but I'm going to have her use the restroom and then I guess we'll just eat tomorrow morning. Um, but she can't sleep because it's still too noisy. I literally thought we just banged on the door and told them to shut up. Can we just like delete that and then go to bed? Because Tony is freaking tired. What the heck? It is too noisy. No, it is not. That's that's a freaking lie. I don't know why she's not able to go to bed, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so I think Antonia actually did get some of Kennedy's contacts. So maybe we can meet up with her tomorrow. I don't know. We got to see if she'll answer us at all. Maybe she thinks like we're this weirdo girl <laughs> that's like, I don't know, lying or something. But can we go to bed now? Okay. You know what? You know, actually, you know, let's hide our DNA records in our bed. 
I think that's a very good idea because we don't want anybody snooping through our records because it has some very personal information. Um, but yeah, so speaking of tag, <laughs> we haven't really talked about tag, but it's it's fine. There we go. We can go to sleep. Okay, let's let Antonia go to sleep. She has had a huge day today and she needs a lot of rest. Do we work tomorrow? Yeah, so we do work tomorrow. So I don't know about a book club tomorrow. Um, but it's fine. We should be getting a promotion too, which is great. We do need the money. Um, but anyways, let's talk about tag for a minute. Okay. So, um, okay. I can't go out anymore. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, ever since last night, uh, like I said, he did put his hands on Antonia and you know obviously Antonia knows that that is bad um but keep in mind she's never really had a real relationship before um or been exposed to this kind of stuff so like she knows it's bad but she also feels like it's forgivable because she in her mind she's going like well he didn't like punch me or he didn't like kick me or throw me around. I mean, he did kind of shove her, but it wasn't like it wasn't too crazy to her. But you know, to sane people, that's physical abuse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, and Tony's not stupid. She's not stupid. She knows that this is wrong, but she's never been exposed to a tr like real loving partner before. She's never been exposed to um, a healthy relationship when it comes to the romantic sense. So she does not know that like this is unforgivable at least in my opinion you know what i'm saying um so she wants to give him a second chance right and tech did text her this morning and apologized right so <laughs> it's just um i i guess it's up in the air right now he did apologize and antonia did accept his apology um but between you and between you and me um, he's very, very psychopathic. I mean, you don't date somebody for literally two days and watch their every move and get mad like when they go out with their friends without telling you like, I mean, sure, that's good to know, but maybe she just forgot or something like it was kind of a last minute deal, the concert. So it's like, I don't know. I think Tag <laughs> needs to back off. I think he needs therapy. Um, but, you know, like I said, Antonia does not see that and that's okay. You know, she's our baby girl. <laughs> I love her so much and I don't want her to get hurt, but sometimes it's it's, it's a part of life. It, that's, that's what this Let's Play is. It's realism. It's real deep and dark. Um, not all the time, but I did want to touch on these dark moments of life in this Let's Play because it just, it, it sheds some light on some issues like physical abuse and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's the deal with Tag. I think um, they are going to go on a date soon and see if they can kind of reconcile um, in person and stuff like that. Um, but I will pick up with you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, we are back. So Antonia just went off to work today and she probably will be getting a promotion tonight which is really exciting we do really need the money because Antonia just paid her bills and she is down at 38 simoleons so um <laughs> she did get a royalty um from her successes of community college short story um and it is five dollars but don't worry as we keep writing more books leveling up um, in our writing skill, then we will get more money, lots more money, and we'll be able to publish our books to an actual publishing house, which is really exciting because I think Antonia has wanted this forever to be a published author, which is insane. And I think um, her best selling book will definitely be um, her life story. Definitely don't know what she's going to call it, um, but we will see. But guess what, y'all? Antonia woke up this morning to um a email back <laughs> from kennedy o'neill and she freaking flipped out of her chair like she <laughs> she is very prone to fainting um so she your girl almost fainted okay but she did get an email back from kennedy um and basically the basis of what antonia said was hey kennedy um i know you don't know me and i know that you're probably gonna think this is weird um but my name is antonia mendez and i've been looking for my birth parents forever um and i just took a DNA test through this website and it showed up as you being my biological third cousin. Um, it didn't show me any other relatives, just you. Um, so I wanted to know if you wanted to get dinner sometime um, and maybe uh, get to know each other. I really want to know or find out who my other family are, other family, other family is, and um, I'm just super excited to meet you. 
Um, and Kennedy was like, oh my gosh, that's insane. <laughs> she was like, I had no idea that there were any adoptions um, or like given away of kids <laughs> in the family. Um, yes, absolutely, 100% yes. So they are going to meet up for dinner tonight. This is freaking insane. Oh my gosh, my head is spinning. Like, this is freaking wild. Um, sorry, I'm just so excited. I'm so nervous. Like, my heart is literally pounding. Like, I know this is The Sims, okay? I know it's The Sims 4. But something about Antonia being 22 years um, or living 22 years without knowing like any biological family and now finally finding a glimpse of hope it's just so it's it's there's no way to describe it you know what i'm saying um but i'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead and we will be getting a promotion i see it right here so that's really exciting so she will be getting a little bit more money i'm gonna go ahead and skip through the day until she finishes work and then i will meet up with you guys after and tony is back home she did work a little late tonight but she has been promoted to freelance article writer so that's really awesome she'll make um 38 dollars per hour she did get 509 simoleons which will help a lot um still life with apple and picture i don't know what that is <laughs> and pitch story idea interaction which is really cool so her next shift will be tomorrow at nine o'clock a.m so it is a little bit earlier but she will get off earlier as well so she'll have more time to do stuff at night um but reagan came back again today i guess to see how antonia was doing she said hey i was thinking about checking out the city today can i use your place to get ready sure reagan could have let us know a little bit beforehand um but it's totally fine so so tonight is the night that Antonia will be meeting Miss Kennedy O'Neill, third cousin, biologically related. She is, she's breaking a sweat. I tell you, she's literally about to actually cry. Um, all the emotions that she, she's feeling right now is just insane. Um, but I did want to actually plan an outfit for her for the dinner tonight. I don't know. She she feels like she needs to impress um, Kennedy. She doesn't want to seem um, like weird. Like she doesn't want to seem too laid back. She wants like Kennedy to know that this means business if you know if you know what i mean no she just um i guess she just doesn't want kennedy to think that she's like this weirdo girl that has like no sense of style i don't know i have no idea <laughs> i guess she just wants to impress her in Algorithm some way or another um so let's i'm not sure if we want to do an everyday or a formal um, you know what? Let's do a formal wear. Oh my gosh. I love her tattoo. I will never get over it. Um, but I actually think I want to do, instead of like a dress, I kind of wanted to do like a fancy, um, pantsuit maybe. Do I have any pantsuits? I'm not sure. Um, ooh, wait, that's cute. <laughs> oh, Antonia. What's up, baby girl? This is super cute. I don't know, but it feels too, like, businessy to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like this is a business transaction. This is, like, family matters, you know? Ooh, that is so cute. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh my gosh, the blush pink. We got black, dark red, dark burgundy. You know what? Let's do, like, the dark mauvey mauvey red um that's cute and i think we'll keep the like flats oh my gosh she's looking good let's see if we can like um maybe do her hair in a different way i'm not sure i don't know if i want to change her hair because her hair is so voluminous it's so pretty um but how about that or okay so we had this so can we do this or that oh wait that's kind of cute oh my gosh her little bangs like flipping out in the front antonia antonia stop oh my gosh um so i'm kind of in between this and this but i think like this is more fancy and i feel like antonia like purposely made her bangs look like this with like a blow dryer and like a brush so yeah i'm definitely feeling this um i don't think we can do like a necklace or earrings just because like her hair and clothes is hiding it which is totally fine um maybe let's do some makeup we can do like some eyeliner by urban as always and then maybe some lip gloss let's do like um like a dark red, mm, I don't know. Do I want like lipstick, like straight up lipstick? Um, you know what? Let's go with it. It matches. Oh my gosh, she's looking so cute. Okay, so that is gonna be our outfit for the dinner tonight. It, it is gonna be a late night, um, because I think it's like eight thirty. 
at the moment, but totally fine. That's what dinner is for. You know what I'm saying? Look at my girl, Tony, looking like a full goddamn vintage meal. <laughs> I love her hair. It's so cute. Not sure how she did it. I'm guessing like a crap ton of um, hairspray, but you know, it works. It works. Um, so let's go ahead and travel to our destination tonight. Um, I'm sure they've already figured out where they're going to eat, but I don't know that yet. So we're going to have to see um, what we want to do. Ooh, wait, the old salt house. That seems fancy. It's a chef's kitchen and it's kind of vivial. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Okay. I'm, feel I'm feeling like this is kind of a fancy dinner <laughs> kind of night, if you know what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, but I feel my palms sweating and Tony's palms are sweating. Like I can't imagine if she were to ever actually meet her parents, how she would feel if she's feeling already this crazy. Just meeting her third freaking cousin. Like what even are third cousins? I don't know my third cousins. I don't think. Is that like your cousin's cousin? No. Is that like your cousin's child's child oh my gosh i have no idea and she's in the wrong outfit oh my gosh there she goes in her beautiful little i don't know what this would be called like a parka is that no wait parka i don't oh your girl is going crazy right now she's going ham but um antonia is kind of like scanning the premises like oh my gosh where is she um i'm not seeing her anywhere um let's look over here <gasps> guys guys this this woman right here <laughs> is Antonia's biological cousin. Like, you're kidding me. They look really alike, actually, which I'm really surprised. Um, but here's Kennedy, and Antonia sees her. And she's like, oh my god. And <laughs> I think Kennedy, like, is walking in right now because she's like, I wonder if Antonia is um, waiting for me inside because she doesn't know what Antonia looks like. Um, but let's do... What kind of introduction can we do? Friendly? Funny? Um, <laughs> let's do a cheerful introduction to Miss Kennedy O'Neill. Oh my gosh, she's like, "Hey, are you are you um are you Kennedy?" And she's like, "Yeah, actually, are you are you and Tony?" And she's like, "Yes, girl." Oh my gosh, that's so insane. I really wish we could give Kennedy a hug right now. Um, but I guess we can't just because they're not high enough in their relationship, which is totally fine. Um, but it looks like she's sad for some reason. I'm not sure why. I don't really want her to be sad. So let's go ahead and cheat that away. I'm wondering if I can like, um, remove her sad buff. Okay. Yeah. I was able to remove it. I know it's cheaty, but I didn't want her to be sad on like this very, very important day. So let's compliment her outfit. Like you literally look so beautiful. And she's like, I love your style. Oh my gosh. Look at them. They're already getting along so well. That's super exciting, but they have yet to even start when it comes to talking about this whole situation. Um, so I kind of did want to eat outside. I mean, these guys are, but it is raining. Um, so how about we eat, let's see, where do I want to eat? I really want to eat outside, but like, I don't want them to be soaking. You know what I'm saying? Um, how about we get this table over here? It's right in front of the boat decal thingling. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Antonia texted Arthur <laughs> tonight. Um, and she, she did text tag too. Um, she let both of them know that, um, she was going to meet up with Kennedy tonight. Um, and oh, by the way, the <laughs> about that drunk text, um, that Antonia sent to Arthur. Arthur, like, <laughs> he saw it very platonically. Um, he thought, like, he didn't want to believe that Antonia was, like, flirting with him. And not in a bad way. Like, not that he's disgusted by her. He was just like, yo, like, this girl has a boyfriend. I don't think, um, that she's flirting with me. Which, she wasn't. I mean, she, all she said was, you know, I wish you were here. Which is very, I mean, that could be a friendly thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, she wasn't, like, over overtly sexual or anything or romantic with um, Arthur over text. So, I mean, um, everything's fine. Everything's fine. You know, it, it, it's fine. <laughs> but we are being seated right now, and I guess Kennedy wanted to stop by the bar. I had to skip through, like, so many hours because Dine Out is literally the buggiest pack I think I've ever had to deal with. So, it is 1.30 at night. Um, but, you know what? Let's just pretend that they had their dinner um but they want more okay they still hungry so they're gonna get seconds <laughs> okay so i'm gonna have antonia order for the table real quick 
Um, but this is really exciting and Kennedy is so beautiful and I'm really glad actually that um, Kennedy actually agreed to do this but uh, I don't feel like Antonia wants alcohol right now just because of what happened um, so she's gonna get a water and then uh, Miss Kennedy I wish there was like tea here or something because um, it's literally just water and then alcohol you know um, but I guess she'll just get a water too. You know, she doesn't want to drink without um, Antonia. I feel like that would be kind of awkward. Um, but Antonia, how about you get the trout manure? <laughs> manure? Poop? Uh, no, I have no idea what that means. But we're going to get it because it's cheap. Well, it's not cheap, cheap. But like it's the chef's choice. So it's probably good. Um, but Kennedy is going to get the fried fish. I feel like she would like fried fish. I don't know. Like <laughs> she's a fried fish kind of gal. That's so weird. Um, but let's ask Kennedy about her personality type. Let's just get to know her. So she's like, um, what do you like? And she's like, well, you know, I like to go to the beach. I like to go fishing. So yeah, I told you she has a, she's a fish kind of girl. Um, but Kennedy just really wants to get to know Antonia. Like she is so uh, like enthralled. Is that the right word? I don't know what to say. She's so um, intrigued by this new woman that has walked into her life um pitch story idea do that she's like i love to write <laughs> and this is one of the stories that i've had for a while um but antonia is just, this is so surreal like the fact that she's seeing somebody that is biologically like blood related i know i keep saying it but like it's just crazy um but what can we do let's see let's give her a heartfelt compliment um antonia is really grateful that kennedy decided to meet her but oh they are getting along very well i love it um oh my gosh wait antonia has learned the following traits about kennedy mean no freaking way are you kidding me she does not look like a mean kind of girl at all she looks really sweet at least right now um but let's flatter her um yeah she doesn't look mean so that's kind of weird but it's totally fine so um antonia is like okay so let's talk about your family a little bit so you are my third cousin so i'm assuming that you are my cousin's child's child if i'm getting that right so tell me about um your parents okay and so she's like oh yeah my mom and dad and my dad's a doctor and my mom is actually a vet so <laughs> we are very well off um and Antonia's like, okay, cool. So you know your parents, so let's talk about your grandparents. And she's like, well, I didn't really know my grandparents well. Um, they they died. <laughs> they died before I was even born, you know, so she never really got to meet them. Um, and they had a lot of mystery in their life. Um, her grandparents, from what she was told, were really closed off and didn't really talk about their life. <gasps> no freaking way. Are you kidding me? It's 3.10 and we haven't eaten yet. And this freaking waitress threw our food all over the ground. I, I just, uh, <laughs> I have no words. Okay, I have no words. Um, but yeah, so Kennedy, her grandparents, so, okay, her grandparents would be I guess her... I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I should have researched this before I looked it up, but definitely her grandparents definitely related um, to Antonia in some way. Um, so I guess Antonia is just going to ask what her grandparents' names are. Um, and she tells her, right? And I think Antonia is going to use this knowledge to her advantage and kind of look up um, maybe later tomorrow and kind of research those names. Because you know how you can like type in names on the computer? And like you can find out a lot of stuff about people just by typing in like even just their names or you can type in their names and like um if you know what city they're from you can type in that and you can find a lot of stuff um so i guess antonia just pretty much found out um about uh kennedy's family and her grandparents and their names where they're from what they do um because kennedy seems to be uh, really helpful right now and she really wants to help out antonia which she appreciates a lot so how about we tell a funny story about how this happened like um i feel like kennedy really wants to know like what happened you know and antonia is just gonna tell her like she doesn't want to go to it's really personal for antonia it, it kind of makes her emotional <laughs> in a sense um so i think she's just gonna say you know my parents seemingly abandoned me somewhere and um you know marco and crystal my adoptive parents found me 
um, and I love them so much. They are my mom and dad. Um, I am, uh, I consider myself Hispanic. Um, I was raised in a Hispanic household. Um, you know, obviously I'm white, but I have, uh, it's, it's confusing. It's very confusing, but Antonia is fluent in Spanish as well, which is amazing. Um, Kennedy thinks that's super cool, but Kennedy's kind of talking about herself right now. Um, but I guess we're not getting our food or we are. And it's four, it's 440 in the war. Ooh, wait, they had a little bit of a negative experience there. I'm not sure what, I guess Kennedy wanted to kind of pry. <gasps> okay, Lilith Pleasant. Of course, <laughs> of course it was freaking Lilith Pleasant. Okay, I'm going to raise our hunger, raise our bladder, because we ate, we done already ate by this time. I cannot believe she did that twice. Um, I, I, I just, no, I, no, <laughs> but it's getting really, really late and nobody's literally here at the restaurant. Um, I guess we can kind of pretend that it's only like, oh, wait, hold on, wait, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's Crystal and Marco out on a date, oh, they are so cute, oh my gosh, that is adorable, what are the odds, oh, wait, oh my gosh, wait, they're gonna see Antonia. Antonia needs to leave right now. She's like, I'm sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> she probably saw them walk in. Um, so I guess we can't hug her, which is unfortunate. Like, hug her. <gasps> what is her pro Why is she yelling? <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I don't, okay. I don't think she was like insulting us. She was like, you know, I don't know why your parents would do that to you. I don't know why they would abandon you. Like very, very judgmental, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't, I don't necessarily think that was a jab at, at, at Antonia, um, but that's kind of weird, but Antonia is very concerned because her parents just walked in and I guess didn't notice, um, that Antonia was here with this random woman that they'd never seen before. Um, and like I said, they have no idea that Antonia is doing this right now. So, um, that would just, it's a big lie that's rolling down into even an even bigger lie. Okay. So, um, we're going to end the night. Okay. We didn't even get our food, but it's fine. <laughs> I wish we could hug. Um, she was acting kind of weird tonight. Not weird in like a bad way, but she, you know, she's very friendly, very friendly to Antonia. Um, but she did pry a lot. Even when Antonia was like, you know, I'm not really comfortable talking about this. She was like, no, no, tell me, come on, come on. And you know, that's like, that's crossing boundaries. You know, you gotta be respectful, especially like this, this girl, Antonia went out of her way to find out who you were. Um, so it's kind of, kind of iffy right now to be honest. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. So let's just, I don't know. Let's say bye let's is there like a buy option okay let's just brighten her day <laughs> she's like bye <laughs> um but acting a little goofy kind of not uh, kind of disrespectful to antonia's boundaries um but let's go ahead and give up the table we didn't even eat well okay we pretended to eat um and she has work in four hours <laughs> so amazing so amazing this episode is kind of getting just a little bit long i noticed but just a lot happened. A lot happened in this episode. Um, kind of crazy, but <laughs> just the thing about, what's her face? The thing about Kennedy kind of weirded me out. Um, like her yelling at us, like I don't think that was, you know, a direct jab, like I said. Um, but it was definitely like, I don't know why she did that. <laughs> this is just super weird. I actually forgot that I gave her the mean trait. So it's like kind of a surprise to me as well. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the part here. So let me know what you guys think about all of this stuff. Um, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new upload. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to become a Mama Llama. I love y'all. Bye.